Sport Press. Yeah. No layup line, no warm ups, no nothing. We just walk right into the stadium and get into the game. Let's do it. When the beat holds in the song, when the white jerseys on the road, cause how we feel where we roam is our home. Leaving these other podcasts null and void. The show can't miss something like Tom Shepard and Corduroy's. Full sport press, you know them boys. Jay run the point, lock for three, and me, I crash the boys. Weezy told you that it's paid for. Greetings and salutations. I would like to welcome everybody back and some of you for the first time to the Full Sport Press Podcast, the premier sports podcast for the consummate sports fan. And this is your one-stop shop for all sports-related news and topics. I am Jay Ho. It's your boy, Big Jeff. Weezy's out on assignment. We got Cam back in the building. What's happening, Cam? What's going on? Peace signs are back. Peace signs are back. Yes, Two sir. of them. Yeah, Most definitely. Die. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Cameraman, how you doing, brother? Oh, oh, two birds. I, two birds. Last time I was here, we got okay. the same yeah, two birds. Yeah, I was okay, starting to so take the double, person. <laughs> he double birded yeah, you yeah. with the thumbs out. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Nasty birds. <laughs> Man, come on. Angry birds. <laughs> angry birds. Angry birds. <laughs> <laughs> angry birds. <laughs> Ah, shit, that's funny, man. How are you, franchise? I'm wonderful, sir. Yeah, no, How about yourself? I'm great, man. I'm doing yeah. good, man. Nice How feel? you got on there. Hey, and you know, yeah, I, I like appreciate it, too. bro. Hey, man. This, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Cam, how was the new year coming in? How was Christmas? Man, uh, Dang, Christmas sure. was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. It's Christ- been a minute. Christmas was a little rough, you know. Yeah. Like a couple people in the fam caught COVID. Yeah. Luckily, I dodged that bullet, Shout you know. You. I'm Barry Sanders, man. Yeah. I'll be joking, baby. For real, just... Keep it low. Stay low. Because it's out here. I know. Oh, no. Keep it low is the the key. No, no. What I'm saying is the last person I know that kind of like bragged about that. Listen, no. We're going to knock on it. Exactly. No, we're going to knock on it. But but I do stay low. That's that's the key, man. People got to learn that. Hey. Hey, for sure. Hey, the house is a great place to be. It is. Man, you better damn know it. Shout out to it. Yeah, man. It's been New Year's in the house. It's been New Year's. Man, come on now. I need a haircut right now. Listen. Hello. Hello. Well, Real bad. Same. Yeah, nah, for sure. Shout out Johnny. <coughs> Man, I didn't know we was giving hand. Shout I'm out. just saying, you played you know haircut. Saying? I was in the uh, barber shop today. Saying, I, I mean, it'd be shout disrespectful to, your to shout, shout out, out my boy. Shout out right? to your barber, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's free. That's free promotion. Yeah. Hey, I mute that. Listen. I know you're listening. Nah, I'm <laughs> nah, nah, we, nah. nah, listen. We watching. We watching in the shop. <laughs> Somebody's looking at this right now in the shop. Watch. <laughs> Man, I hear you. Yeah. Shout out to the, shout out to that barbershop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the name of y'all barbershop, man? Man, Fresh Cut Johnny's. Fresh Cut. Shout out to Hall of Fame. Keep him fresh. Yeah. Now, my, now my barber looking at yeah, listen. Yeah, his barber, barber answer the phone. You know, my barber, he gonna always. I don't do that. Bro. I'm just saying. You said you ain't getting no cut. I just That's said, man, my bad. He gonna answer the phone. Oh, my bad, my right bad, right my now, bad. Bro. We right, right. God damn. <laughs> Episode four hundred and two, man. We're handing out some mid-season NBA awards. FSP style. Oh, FSP style. You better damn know it. Better damn believe. Let's kick it off. Best of the weekend. What you got? Ah, the Arizona Wildcats. Oh, shit. I, <laughs> I believe the last time I came here was the college basketball preview. So I might be mistaken. Yeah, Maybe I am. It's up there. We talked about teams that we thought would trend up this season. We talk about it. I talked about an unranked Wildcats team. That I thought would, you know, show some, some perseverance, some character this season. Little yeah. Moxie. Little, little Moxie. Moxie, yeah. yeah. Just a little Moxie. Yeah. Top three in the country. Shout out to them. Yeah. Man, I've been there great before. basketball. Hey. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while, though. It's been a while. Been a while. Hey, I'm happy to be back. Yeah, for sure. Congratulations. Thank man. you, sir. Most definitely, man. My team ain't playing like shit. What you got, Jeff? Oh, man. Best by, the, week. by the time this show airs, great dad will be had 86 of them things, man. Ooh. So, shout out to him. Yes. Better trip around the sun. Man. Still out here kicking. Yeah. He discovered pedicures this year, Jay. For real? Oh, great dad's up. getting a pedicure every other week. Every other week? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. That's I know, my dog, for sure. He nah, he's living, hey, he living his life. He keeping it peace. Yeah, he is. Definitely doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Blue emoji, man, Blue emoji on, piece man. for everybody. <laughs> Shout out to Grandpa, man. Yeah, for man. sure, he witnessed me uh, go crazy in the backyard. You know, so I went baseline, dunked on that thing. Invite me back, Cam. Ooh. I went baseline, dunked that, dunked it so hard. Two hands, not one hand. It was oh, one hand. It's baseline. It's baseline. It's baseline. 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 Man, went crazy. Screen. Nigga said, "Man, I said, nigga, who is dude, man?" <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> had to get Crockett, you out of there. Crockett did like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was new coach. Yeah, I was new. I was new coming in. I was screaming. Yeah, you was going crazy in the backyard. I didn't get invited. Oh, no, I went crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they let me do One and done in the backyard. Yeah, they ain't let me go. He never came way back up there. No, no. We ain't get invited down that way. I ain't get invited. We ain't get invited down y'all way at all. used to come down there and hoop all the time. Stem from down the way, though. I know. That's got to stem. Yeah, that's got to stem. Most definitely. My best of week is Lucy Harris, man. Basketball legend. Lucy Harris died this week. The only African American player on a college team to lead three national championships. Shout out to her, the first woman to score a basket in the Olympics. So good she was drafted in the NBA. Yeah. Did not know that until she passed away. Yeah, that's that's nuts, that's man. Right. And the first woman of color in the Hall of Fame. So shout out to her. Shout Every out. American should know that name. Lucy Harris. Absolutely. Rest in peace for sure. Worst of the week, Jeff. What you got? Oh, man. I hope this stays as a rumor. Apparently, cameraman, Mike Tyson is supposed to fight Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. Please keep this as a rumor. Yeah. I don't want this in exhibition rules. I don't want it in real rules. Mm -mm. It don't, we don't need to see this. We don't need we don't need to lead up to this. Mike might lose it. He's been in a good place lately. Mm -hmm. Jake Paul's going to try to push his buttons. It's going to be an exhibition. Did he mess around and be a 50-something year old Mike just because it's an exhibition? It's mm -hmm. gonna be bad. We don't need this. Most we don't need this at all. Please Most don't do it. That's worth, man. Um, Kim, I'll let you close things out with worst <laughs> of the week. My worst of the week is Rivergate Mall closing. Um, they're saying it's closing in 2022. Yeah. It's oh, a Nashville wow. staple. Yeah. Um, if you're from Nashville, go through there. Spend some money with some of the vendors through there. I know it's going to be very hard to do such a thing, but at least go to Pyramid. Is Pyramid still in Pyramid's there, right? Still there. I yeah. was there over Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pyramid's still there. Pyramid's go, never go to Pyramid. Go get you some Greasy Fingers, too. Hey, hey, Shout out my dog, dog Greasy Fingers, nah, man. Real quick, and I get you. Yeah. Hey, you're not going to come on this podcast <laughs> and plug everybody. You said, listen, you nah, play at Rivergate. Nah. I'm just... I'm just piggybacking off that. Listen, man, but it's a transition. You know, you know, you know and I get you. Hey, I'm, I'm C-Mike. No, I'm, I'm just trying, trying to get here. I'm just trying to get here. You plugging everybody. I'm just trying to get here. We shout out. some discounts. shout out, Pop. code FSP or something. something oh, man. we can do that. We can set that up. Of worst of the week. What do you have, Ken? Listen, man, and now I'm backside. Look at the <laughs> damn mood killer around here. <laughs> they been calling me that. It's all third verse, man. It's all third verse. Shout out to Loaded Looks. It's all third verse. Be careful, man. Who you call your favorites out here, folks? Yeah, they on. might let you down. Yeah, now for sure. Speak on it, Cam. You was gun ho by it not being true. Yeah, I, I was trying it. to save you. Yeah. You didn't try hard enough. Yeah, he did though. No, I ain't seen no cape flying. I just heard a couple whispers. Third verse, where the hood at? Yeah, DMX, yeah. one of my favorite rappers, man. Yeah, now for sure. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened. Yeah. We ain't gonna get we, off. Yeah, we can't sure. talk about it yeah. too much. Yeah. But uh, if you got some time, delete it off your your iTunes. <laughs> Don't listen. Just delete it. Just, it's cool. He said it with so much conviction, though. Yeah, he, he meant all of that. Man, turned up, <laughs> yeah. cussed nah. me out. I nah, listen, don't know what they talking about. Couldn't wait to press play. I ain't gonna lie to he you. I, it. I, I thought I had to play it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Don't so, worry, I deleted it too. Yeah. <laughs> Slide that shit right on my computer. <laughs> Jeff. Yes, sir. You have 10 good wrestling seconds. Yeah. Yeah, let's start the clock. All right. So, Mustafa Ali requested his release from the WWE this week, end quote, by saying he has more, his message is much bigger than his dreams in pro wrestling. He requested his release after WWE has released over 80 people last year. <laughs> Jehovah, do you think they granted his request for his release of his country? Hell no. Exactly. No. So, is Vince McMahon petty? Absolutely. This man wants to be out. Apparently, he wants to do MMA, like legit MMA, and possibly going to um, other indie promotions as well. But he requested his release on Instagram and Twitter. He's not getting that release. So shout out to Mustafa Ali. Keep fighting a good fight. Y'all might not know who he is. That's a pretty good guy. Pretty sure. good wrestler. But, you know, not really mainstream or nothing like that. But it's just been fun to watch the internet blow up about this. Oh, yeah, real quick. Internet ruined wrestling. Yeah, internet ruined wrestling. Anyway, make sure you check us out each and every Thursday. Myself, shout out to Neek. On the 808s and Chess Shots podcast, like we always say, you might not like it, but your auntie loves wrestling. Most definitely. Tweet us with questions throughout the week at Full Sport. Press over to comment and give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page, on the iTunes page. Please rate and subscribe. But more importantly, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. That the revolution will be podcasting before we start the first half. Cam, do you have a yellow box of Cheerios award recipient for the listeners? I do. This week's <laughs> recipient. It's the Bills Mafia. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> looking at you, Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> looking at you, Jeff. The Buffalo Bills fans are a passionate bunch, to yeah. say the least, yeah. and a really a deranged <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> Bills Mafia is known for jumping through tables, yes, sir. dousing them in in ketchup and mustard, yeah. and getting as rowdy as possible both before 
and during and after games. Now, Bills fans also known for one more thing. <laughs> Let's hear it. Cam, they are known for throwing dildos on the field when they play the New England Patriots, and it won't stop happening. The Bills hosted the Patriots in the first round of the 2022 NFL playoffs on a Saturday night. The Bills offense came out firing, scoring touchdown after touchdown against the Patriots, opened up a huge halftime lead when New England finally scored their first touchdown with Buffalo well on its way to an easy victory. <laughs> Bills fans were ready to keep their weirdest tradition <laughs> yet alive. <laughs> Mac Jones hit Kendrick Bourne for a three-yard strike to cut the deficit to 33-10 to with four minutes left in the third quarter. And that is when Bills Mafia turned up. Yeah. A Bills fan threw a dildo into the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick Bourne, he pointed at the dildo and it became an instant meme. No, this is not the first time the Bills fans done this. They did it against the Patriots in 2016. Yes, it was a start, and they have played a dildo on the field every year yes, for every touchdown that they score. Yep, it's a throwing tradition. You throw dildos. Yeah. That is a Bills tradition. Mafia. <laughs> Explain your people, Jeff. I can't. Yeah. No, yes, you can. can. You got to try. The, the funniest part. Is live TV couldn't turn away quick enough. No, what you saw it flying, yeah. and you saw it hit the ground. Like, wait a minute, oh, they did it again. It's an instant meme. Yeah. Um, I said I wasn't gonna talk about this, but there's also another real thing that goes on in the world, and it's COVID dick. <laughs> yes, COVID dick is a real. <laughs> you should have seen the cameraman face. COVID dick is a real thing. Um, like COVID toe, like the COVID lifers. All right, now. you can lose an inch and a half. Oh, yeah, I've heard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. COVID. Oh, yeah. Wow. Apparently. It's a real thing. That's. Yeah. Sheesh. Good reason to duck the COVID. Yeah. Because you can up. lose some inches. Mask up, people. Yeah, no, for sure. Man, Keep the mask. I would let. None of that. Jeff. None of that. None. Jeff, I would let you deliver <laughs> this great <laughs> yellow box of Cheerios. I'll take it to the meeting, dog. To the meeting. Like, yeah. For sure. Bro. You guys ready to get started the first half? Yes, sir. Please, let's, let's go. <laughs> right now. Do what the business is. It's your man, Animal Brown, checking in from the On Deck TV show. Make sure you check out my podcast every Wednesday with my guy, Spike Lou, as we go over all things hip hop. All right. That's wherever you find podcasts. On Deck TV. Tap in. <laughs> First half, the hottest sports news of the past week, like we do each and every week here at the Full Sport Press Podcast. Before we get started, I am Jay Ho. It's your boy, Big Jeff. And I'm Cam. Cam, where can they find you on social media, my brother? Cam, two underscores, uh, two underscores, and. Unnecessary, dog. We still here, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's here, dog. Yeah. Sure. So, follow me one time. One time. Yeah. Stay there. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yo, Cam, I had a listener last time you was on. was like, why don't he just put a number mm. behind it? We take them underscores out. Just be Cam, I am two, uh, one, or something because, like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it ain't one, it ain't me. Yeah, so. just, I, I hear you. Yeah. I was just saying. It wasn't COVID, man. But it's two, it's two, yeah, but it's yeah, two yeah, underscores, sure. so there's yeah, more than yeah, one I, there. I, I take so that. Yeah, Four underscores. I just want to make sure they know. It's me. Hella underscores. Jeff, what you got? J Easley, 84 across all. Social media platforms. Sure, and I'm Jay Hove on Instagram and Twitter. Let's talk on Twitter. Let's have a full conversation. Mm -hmm. Just keep the Russell Westbrook slander to yourself. We don't tolerate that shit around here. What, what you know about what on IG? They can't come. come do this. Why would you do that? I was just they asking. They can't. You full of shit today. No. We full of shit today. Woo. <laughs> 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 damn, man. I ain't had to cuss you out in a minute. God damn. Yeah. Um, let's kick the first half. I was in NFL <laughs> talk, man. NFL Super Wild Card Weekend. Since expanding oh, that playoff field to 14 teams a year ago, NFL is taking a call in the open round, calling it Super Wild Card Weekend. But was it? Was it really? Let's talk some winners and losers, man. We'll start off with some winners. Jeff, what you got? Give me your first winner. Josh Allen. Joshua Allen. He had a moment. QB1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At his moment. Yeah. I can't say nothing. I'm I have nothing bad to say about it. Great game. Yeah. Hope he keeps it up. Hope he, hope he just, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. Just wanted to happen. Yeah. Hope he keeps it up. Shout out to Josh Allen, man. Had a great performance. Sure, man. Keep yeah. that energy high. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to Micah Hyde. One of the best pregame speeches you're going to hear yeah. in football. I want to run sure. through a wall right there. Not for sure. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how yeah. you do it. Yeah, Mike, not uh, for Mac sure. Jones over there. I mean, what's, what's Mac Jones over there? Two yeah. stepping and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Ah, man. Yeah, Mac yeah. Jones. I, I got a story about Mac. I'll tell you about that. Yeah. <laughs> you got Cam. Give me your first one. 
Matthew Stafford, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show. First win. Welcome to the show. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. A lot of dope run. Man, come on, <laughs> man. Especially where he was at. Yeah, this. <laughs> Did Come you, on now. Hey, hey, get, it gets cold in the D. It's cold. Yes, sir. It's cold in the D. It's cold. It's cold in the D. Listen. Yes, man. Listen. Yeah. yeah, man. She wasn't lying to that song. Man. She was not lying. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, we think it's cold here. No. Man, come on. It's, just, it's rough. It's cold, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. Ma- Matthew Staff, we got to go out west, you know, get yeah. out the cold. You know, he's yeah. shining out there. Sure. Look, look good, man. Sure. Look very comfortable. Playing in tens. Playing in 10s. Yeah, he's playing in 10s. All right, listen. <laughs> like, look good out there. Look good. Look good. Yeah, no, sure. Look good. Look good. You play good. Play good. Play good. Yeah. Play good. Okay. Ain't going to pay good. All right, now. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, my first winner is Nickelodeon for the second year in a yes, row. Sir. NFL broadcast had its game on Nickelodeon. Playoff broadcast. It's just a breath of fresh air, man. Because mm-hmm. the NFL is so uptight. They kind of see guys kind of buttoned up, kind of get to relax. Mm-hmm. Other than, you know, heard <laughs> Peyton Manning on the cast say, <laughs> I can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. But yeah, no. <laughs> it was a great look for the league, man. Shout out to Nickelodeon. MLB, take notice, man. Yeah. Take notice, yeah. for sure. Give me another winner, Cam. What you got? <sighs> yeah. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. Because Ben is gone. Yeah. Yeah, now nah, I don't yeah. like the way they let Ben just just waltz up out of here, dog. Ben I don't like that. Gone. What they, you mean, let them waltz? They want him to dance, man. Yeah. Two step for real. I don't like they that. They want man. Ben to get out, and he is gone. Ben got two rape charges. Nobody talks about it, dog. I actually Hello. mentioned that to somebody earlier today, man. <laughs> Hello, why, why did we let that man continue to play, right? Man. Man. Yeah, Pittsburgh said, nah, bro. Yeah, man, man don't worry road. about it, man. Come I, on, man. Statue of limitations ain't nothing. They gonna get Ben. Nah, nah Ben's shit, a civilian now, man. They trying to. All if I was saying, if that was LeVar Roethlisberger, oh he would have been done. Man. He would have been done. Most yeah. definitely. Give me another winner, Jeff. Odell Beckham. Yeah. yeah. Odell, Odell Beckham. Beckham. Yeah. Love it. Man, they said he was over with, Kevin, nah, man. man. They said he was done. They put dirt in my name. Yeah. Remember, remember IT? He hit that 50. Oh, or, he hit 100. In, uh, Come on, man. Yeah. That, that made me That was rough. Yeah, yeah. Was rough. yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Run it on. He said, man, man that hurt me. That hurt my boy crying like that. Yeah, you ruined it. Yeah, he can't defend now, so. <laughs> he had to get him out of here. <laughs> they packed so, my boy IT there. Man, he it's got to so 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 He's still on 2K. The 10 is all him out. Get. That means nah, he, IT going to be on there for three more years. Two. We, three. Two. 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 Yeah. It's two. 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 Damn, IT. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Because they got my boy out of there quick. I ain't seen B's in a minute on no, there. B's ain't on there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, not for sure. Two, two max. Yeah. Bees is in Bees right? Yeah, Harry Jones. Bees on the, bees yeah, on the ten, clock. He didn't get a ten day when COVID was that tapped what in. I'm saying, yeah, man, yeah, they hate right. no man. Come on, yeah, we ain't bees a bucket. Bees yes, is a is. whole bucket. Bees is better than at least seventy five people in the NBA right now, offensively for sure. Oh, for yeah. sure, yeah. Call back. He'll he'll be a monster T Mac one on one league if that happens. Ooh. Yeah. I like, that. I like that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, I'm piggybacking with the Rams veterans, man. Yeah. You go in a win now mode, like the Bucks were a year ago, proved it with the yeah. process. You bring Stafford like Cam talked about. Odell, like Jeff talked about, Von Miller. Miller. Hell, they even dusted off Eric hey, Weddle. What the hell was that about? What the hell? <laughs> and he looked good. <laughs> Everybody yeah. shine, man. Yeah. So I'm a sucker for a feel good story. I want those guys to play well. I want those guys to win a lot of games as long as they're taken to the expense of the San Francisco 49ers for sure. I want those guys to win rooting for those guys, for sure. Let's go to the losers, Jeff. Give me your first loser. Viewers. Us. <laughs> those games were trash. Yeah, yeah. There was maybe two good games. Max. Two. Nah, I wanna the see Cowboys that. debacle yeah. and maybe the Bengals game, if you want to throw one. In. But the rest of them were 14 Blowout. to nothing in yeah. the first quarter every yeah. game. Yeah. There was Big no trash. need to watch that. Yeah. NFL, please. We do not need an extra playoff team. We do not need an extra week. Super wild card. We don't need a Monday night wild card game. This is horrible. Yeah, thank yeah. you. More isn't always more, for sure. More is always good. Sure. You're right. What you got, Cam? The Dallas Cowboys. Jeez. They shit the bed. Shit the bed. Mm-hmm. What, Dak, can you see me? Dak, find him. Find him. Yeah, yeah get him. Hey, man. Talk what to me. What the fuck was that? <laughs> What was that, dog? Mm-hmm. You didn't know how much time was left? You didn't see what was going down? McCarthy threw him under the bus said he did that. He no, he did that. do that. Listen, I I believe he did that. That man slid in. Like, you looking at everybody else trying to figure out what's going on. Bro, if at least going to slide, count it in your head or something, cheap. 14 seconds, bro. 
If if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. Man, nah, listen, but, man. If he was a good quarterback, he would have won. Oh, Shit. Man, that's perfect. That's right there. No, nah, it ain't perfect. Yeah. He was my fantasy quarterback. He shit the bed this oh, all year with that. Oh, but man. It, nah, yeah, man, that just it was very yeah, disappointing yeah, for a team that's supposed yeah, to have yeah. such a high power offense. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be this and that to lose that way. Yeah, like that's yeah. what you want, right? Your, yeah. your quarterback with the ball in his hands, yeah. driving downfield. Yeah. It, it doesn't. That was wrong. Yeah, that, that, that didn't work. Yep. Um, my first loser is Cliff Kingsbury. <laughs> he started out seven and zero this year. Here's the thing with Cliff Kingsbury. His time with the Cardinals. It's just an unfortunate trend that happens every year. He isn't really interested in change, right? Yeah. He likes to run the same plays, put the same players out there in the same positions. Other teams adjust, Cliff. They And Cliff just, oh, still going to run the same play. As an NFL coach in the first half of the season, he's 15 and 8. In the second half, he is 9 and 16. Mm. You cannot try to continue to do the same shit. These people get paid a little bit more than college coaches do. To do things at a high level, dog, you can't do that, man. You might tr- you might see a team three times, yeah. especially in the division that we in. Yeah. Come on, man. You can't True. be – and then the, really, let me tell you, they were down 21 nothing, and he tucked his tail and did not try to score with that time left to go into halftime, man. Hell no, nah, man. Something has to change in Arizona, and it's probably – might be a situation where that coach – is just not ready for NFL football because you have to change, dude. Mm-hmm. You have to make you changes. Adjust. You have to adjust, dude. Mm-hmm. And he's not doing that, clearly. Shit. <laughs> Piss me off. Give me another loser, Cam. Well, I'm piggyback off of your Cliff Kingsbury with mm. Kyler Murray. You talk about being on hell date. Man. <laughs> he said he looked like an athletic Lego out there. There's man. nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I go? <laughs> Listen, man. I have never seen somebody be that fast in one spot. Man. Because there was nowhere to run. Nah. Yeah. It was on his head. Man, it was on his neck. Yeah. Yeah. They, they they completely boxed him in. There was nowhere to run. Yeah. His receivers really shit the bed. AJ Green. Do you still want to play football? Yeah, he's a little long in the two. It's yeah, by, it's by but, glue gun. But listen, time. but you you did all that complaining and all that. Man, hop out. You got to step up. Yeah, you got you got to step up. He had eight hundred this year. No, he played well. No, he yeah. played well. not yeah. just not, not, this not when it counted. Not yeah, not when it counted. Yeah, yeah man. To. Come on, we need that. Yeah. That was just a uh, yeah, I, Kyler. Man, I feel bad for you, but at the same time, this is where. You use the legs. You make plays for yourself. There was nowhere for him to go. Well, yeah. I think he was r- scrambling to throw instead of running. Nah, uh, it's a, because Cliff Kingsbury is lining people up the same way he did week two. That is also play, true. And they yeah. beat their ass. That's they beat true. the hell out of um, the out of yeah, the ring. Not taking that twice, no sir. Yeah, yeah man. You, you're right. Like, okay, let me see that. You running the same play, really? Yeah. Oh, we got something no, for that. Come here. Yeah. Man, without hop. Shout out to Aaron Donald. We running the same stuff without hop. Ain't gonna sit up. Come, Come on, man. man. Listen. Shout out to Aaron Donald. Man, they used to kill me. I used to run the same play on Madden and I Madden League. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, Madden and, fixed that, too. And they found out. <laughs> they found out my dog. play. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, I played that next game. I said, okay, I got to get in the lab. Yeah, they, you got to get in the lab. How I make an adjustment? And I got paid zero dollars to play in the Mad League, and this man gets seven and a half million dollars and make no adjustments every year. Man, listen, I made an adjustment. So I want a couple you, of them yeah, too. You might need that job, Damn right? No, come on, boy, man. Got, we might get you in the door. Come on, um, <laughs> Jeff. Give me another lose. Bill Belichick. Oh, Whoa, wait a minute now. <laughs> talk to me, Billy. Yeah. They overachieved. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Let's talk about it. No, 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 no. They overachieved. Oh. Absolutely. It's, he's a loser because he's not getting a fair shake in the Tom Brady, Bill Belichick. Thing. I got you. I heard you. Okay. That's right. this experiment he's having with Matt, with his quarterback, his rookie quarterback, is mm-hmm. going to take some time. But people are comparing him to Tom Brady because Tom Brady went to a ready-made team mm-hmm. with a ready-made coach with a super duper offense mm-hmm. and is excelling. Of course, why would right chip? But yeah. you can't. But Bel- Belichick is getting the short end of the stick because he stayed when Tom left, and you're comparing that, and that's why he's a loser right now because he can't win this fight. It's, a, it's a fixed fight. Yeah, mm-hmm. not for sure. Uh, my last loser is officiating for sure. Whoosh. Never Man. good when the league sends down a word during a game. They'll have a statement about a call, and then those same officials can't referee or officiate the entire rest of the playoffs. Yeah. You listen, man. He clearly stepped out. He's, yeah, yeah. But the shit is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then on top of that, it was a whole nother miss and a couple of other games. You, hey, listen, you cannot mess up playoff football. There's called it. Yeah. There's called it. There's called it. There's called it. Man, listen, there's called it. Damn. 
Definitely. I don't even like the Cowboys. Like the yeah, but I got to keep it the book. They just caught that, man. They caught that shit, for sure. Let's move on to the NBA, fellas. Mm. Play a little game, cameraman. Buy or sell with NBA rumors. Let's do it. First one, J-Ho. Mm-hmm. Frank Vogel is on the hottest of seats in L.A. Buy or sell. This is absolutely, positively, unequivocally accurate and very true. Okay. Yeah, not for sure. Yeah, the Lakers did this to themselves over the offseason, man. You can't trade KCP. You can't trade a not re-sign AC. Trade Trez. Trez Trez about to be traded again. Trez about out of the league. My man. Trez is. about Trez out of the league. Watch, watch how y'all no, no, talk about no, Trez. Trez, Trez about like use Trez hands. Great no, they about to trade the hell out of Trez. But, and then they're gonna trade him to Alcatraz. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, watch. I'm you don't like Trez. No, no, you don't I'm like gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why we're going on. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, now for sure. Um it's not. Frank Vogel's fault that fucking Anthony Davis missed 17 damn games. Oh, man. And counting. And counting. Yeah. LeBron missed what? Him. Five, six games? Man, come on, man. Hey, come on, man. Don't do that to Frank Vogel, man. And don't you do that to Russell Westbrook. It ain't his damn fault. Hello. You bring Russell Westbrook Ooh. to be Russell Westbrook. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You wife a girl tomorrow, Cam. Okay. Right? You wife a girl tomorrow. Let's hear it. Now, listen. But you wife her, right? Right. You wife her, right? I did. That's your girl. That's my girl. But- your girl's a stripper. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> I oh, got wow. You. I got you. You know, ex- you know what you signed into up for. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you signed up for. For sure. Russell Westbrook is there for energy. Yep. He's there for athleticism. Yep. He's there to get the team hype and to do some things. He's not there. Bro, he's averaging four turnovers for his entire career. You knew that when you signed up for him. Why is everybody so surprised with this? Leave Russell Westbrook alone, man. That's true. Leave him alone. You wife a stripper, you wife a stripper. We've, we've come a long way. Yeah, last night, night, though. <laughs> we, I, we've come a long way. <laughs> My bad. I couldn't make Russ sound that good. I'm going to be real. Not for real. That was, that I was got, impressive. Uh, I got a buy as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's. I think Frank Vogel's yeah. probably gone yeah. all-star break. Yeah. If this doesn't, if they lose to a, if, this, if they lose, they don't know what, a, a six-game road trip, uh, yeah, this is going yeah, to be the telling thing right, right here. Right six-game road trip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, be, they beat Orlando though. They just beat Orlando. Though. Well, you can't yeah. lose to Orlando now. Yeah, I seen people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they beat the game. Yeah. Yeah. But it, again, I, after I, the I game, saw, saw Russell went off the top of the backboard again tonight. So leave him alone. Leave him yeah. alone. Yeah. And he's just trying to. All right, out. Ben Simmons yep, sure. unlikely to be moved by the trade deadline. Cam by herself. <sighs> as much as I felt like this would have been a buy earlier mm-hmm. in the year. You got to maximize this season that Joel Embiid's having. I, I, I think that's a sell. I think they'll move him. Mm. The, the only way – you don't want to waste Joel Embiid's healthy, great season because you don't know how many healthy, great seasons he will have. Mm, that's true. That's true. I, I think if the 76ers want to have any chance of having a playoff run this year and possibly moving forward having something, they have to get what they can get for him now. That's fact. Yeah, for sure. I'm buying, man. Daryl Murray is an idiot. He's an idiot. True. He's just and it won't happen. He's an idiot. He wants three starters for a guy that current trade value. Jeff's been saying from day one is more like worthy of one. Yeah. He's he's at this lowest yeah. lowest time to yeah. buy or sell or trade. Ben Simmons, you're wasting your franchise player like Cam saying some of his best years. Mm-hmm. You should have traded him for Cam Reddish. And fucking John Collins, and let's go home. That's it. That's the trade. Yeah. Helps both teams. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, and Joe ain't got to worry about getting dunked no. on by John Collins no more. Nah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, right there beside Collins, Collins got his number. Yeah, yeah he nah. dunked him off the night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. You know I'm, Joe is welcome that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <sure. laughs> I'm going to sell this mm-hmm. only if they can get someone to take the Tobias Harris contract as well. Sure. That's Doc Boy too, man. Yeah. I don't Doc understand that. Tobias. He loves Tobias. But if you can get – You got to get – Yeah. yeah. You got to get a number yeah. two Because yeah. Tobias ain't really – Nah. 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 And you maximizing old oh, Seth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seth Curry is giving you everything he got. Yeah. 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 Everything. <laughs> but Tobias just don't – Yeah, man. Yeah. You got to get Tobias out of there. So. All right, let's move on. Mm-hmm. J-Hope, Miles Turner's injury may impact his trade market. Buy or sell? I'm selling this, man. He was once the highest priority not named Ben Simmons on the trade block. True. Best defender at the big position not named Rudy Gobert. He's and ain't got stress fracture. This is the thing. If you get rid of him, team, they really need – you only need him for the playoffs. So you can bubble wrap his ass until the playoffs start, and then you have him out there to um, three I mean, to defend some of your bigs. And then on top of that, 
He has two years left on his contract. And if you play NBA 2K, you know if two years is different than the last year of a contract. Yeah, you need is. a person with two years because, in turn, they just there for two years. They can't leave. Yeah. And if they do want to leave the next year, guess what? You have an expiring contact with Trey. Yeah. So, yeah. For sure. Camp? <sighs> yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to buy. He – Indiana needs something for him, but Indiana's also not in the win now mode. Yeah, they don't care. They should you, be. Though. Should be though. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they should be because I don't know if they have a legitimate chance of winning anything this year. No, they, they ain't winning shit. You That's what I'm, so yeah. I think if if they hold on to him to the off season, which it doesn't hurt them nearly as much, they might wait it out to see what the best thing they can get for him is. You look at. I say that for this particular question, it should be. A sale it shouldn't hurt his trade market. Yeah. But if the Pacers look at what the Bulls did, mm -hmm. they can they can mimic that. They should try to clone that because you have a top fifteen player. Judge me not. It's a bonus. Yeah. A top fifteen player right now. So sure. and you just need to maximize that. Him and him and Levert and make it work. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Unless they move him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, Cam, you Jeremy Grant has around a dozen suitors in the trade market. Buy or sell. Buy. And Jeremy Grant can play either forward spot, yep. mm -hmm. and he rebounds well, defends well, gets out in transition well. He he kind of fills a lot of holes and a lot of roles on a championship caliber team. Holes and rolls. Holes and rolls, baby. Holes and rolls. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, he, he does – everything that you need out of like I said that that kind of combo forward spot mm -hmm. uh and he doesn't need touches to be successful right. he's never been a number one option so I don't think he's going anywhere looking to be a number one option yeah. I think he's fine being a two or three yeah. even and when you got somebody that talented that is willing to take on that role it's kind of hard not to try to get him yeah Joe. I'm buying that as well. Um, here's the thing with him, though. He wants to be on a sorry team so he so can he get can shots. Yep. So he can get that $110 million max contract yeah. for him. In two years. In two years. He needs that as soon as possible. Got a sprained thumb. It ain't a situation where he's out right now because he has a torn ligament or MCL or something. But what the Pistons want to do is to make a trade just similar to what um, the Nuggets did with Aaron Gordon. You know, you get a, a young player, give up, you know, a salary filler, quality first round pick, and then you get a player in that can kind of help you a little bit. So, yeah, man, I think with what he can do, like Cam said, playing three to four positions can switch everything. Um, he can really help a lot of these playoff teams, but he wants to be the number two guy on the team, and he can't do that on any of these playoff teams. Yeah, I think if I'm a playoff team I'm, and you can get him for the right price, you're going to do it. So, yeah, I do believe he has sure. that many suitors. So, I buy that. Sure. Last one, rapid fire. Yep. Jay Hove, are the Celtics buyers or sellers right now? Man, get, break up that shit. Just get, yeah. Man, man, please. Yeah. They, unfortunately, they're buyers. Yeah. But they're stupid enough to keep that team around together. They need a point guard. You trade for a point guard. You get rid of Schroeder. You get rid of Marcus Moore. And you get a damn point guard to help those guys out because neither one of them can pass the ball. They're terrible. So, yeah, no, for sure. Unfortunately, they're buyers, and they're going to keep the team together, and they're going to look trash for the next two years. Yeah. I agree they should be sellers, but I, I believe they are buyers. Even without the point guard thing, I think you just – if you're going to build around Tatum and Brown, then build around Tatum and Brown. Put people that actually fit their style of play. You're paying Al Horford, who can't run up and down the floor the with them. Done. Robert Williams is the same size as them playing the five. He's, He's really not seven. helping you all that much when Tatum's still having to get 10 and 11 rebounds. Yeah. They are having to create for each other. It's just – Get some people and some pieces yeah. that'll help. You need help on the wing. You need shooting the space to floor for them. You need a legit big. You need help around those two. Everybody else can go. Mm. Yeah, I agree. They should be. They should break this team up. I disagree with y'all about Williams, though. He on my fantasy team. He killing for me right now. Yeah, but he's six, six, seven. Seven, though. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. I do think what, what I when I say they should be sellers, they need to pick one. Jalen Brown or Tatum. Who you pick? Give me Tatum. Who you pick again? Tatum. But I think someone needs another team needs to get aggressive and give them an offer for Jalen Brown to get to 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 make them hit, they can't help themselves. Right? They don't want to break them up. Offer Ben Simmons for them. Yeah. They, they ain't enough. What? What if the, what if the Lakers give up AD for him? That's stupid on the Lakers part. What if you can get DeAndre Ayton in the offseason? LeBron got to sign off on that. For sure. You need a point Clutch guard. Clutch got to sign. And you got to you got to have a point guard to do that. Yeah, you better have a point guard because Ayton is point guard dependent. Break the glass on Johnny. 
Hello? Oh, well, we're going to talk about Johnny yeah. in a minute. <laughs> you damn right. That's a great saying. <laughs> you ready to go to halftime? Let's get it. All right. We're at the midway point. Please enjoy all of the halftime festivities. Halftime. <laughs> <laughs> we are back with a new segment. Jeff is up for this NBA MVP ladder week one. Let's do it. Let's go, Jeff. All right, I want to preface this before we start. Oh, oh, you got this is Disclaimer. Week uh, too weak. Uh, this is not from Jeff. opening tip off to now. This is week to week. Jeff. Now <laughs> see, now see when you now, see, Jeff, you got this whole new segment and shit. Yeah. Don't you come in here with that bullshit. No, it's the week to week. Don't start with that bullshit, Jeff. Oh. Honorable mentions for the week. Okay. Oh, He's right, injured right go. now. Wait. Kevin Durant. Honorable okay. mention. Okay. Honorable mention as well. Having a great season. His team's really not. They, they may turn around. LeBron James. Okay. Let's get it started. Let's go. Number seven. Stephen. Oh, I'm sorry. Wardell Stephen Curry. You're damn right. Yeah. Tough week for the Golden State Warriors. Like hey, wait. Oh, oh, seven. It's week it's to his week. List. It's week it's a ladder. to week. It's week to week. Ladder. It's week to week. Ladder. Two he weeks. said it's my been a rough up. week. It's my hands up. They've lost three or four yep. this week. Yep. That's all. He, week he, to week. week. That's all he said. Number six. DeMar DeRozan. The Bulls are rolling. He looks great. He's Cam mentioned this in, in, in uh, during the commercial break. He's found his mid range game again. The Bills, I'm sorry, the Bulls are number two seed Bills in, in the East. Yeah, the Bills are on my mind. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, can't wait. Get, get the tables ready, Devon. Let's do it. In the dick. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Number five, the reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's basically mimicking his numbers from his MVP season last year without Mark, Michael Porter Jr. Without a true number two player right now, they are rolling. They are still in playoff contention, still top five in the Western Conference. So shout out to Jokic yeah, at number awesome. four, CP3. I don't know how he's doing it. He's ageless. He looks great. And he has Phoenix playing at a high level again, number one seed again. They're taking the regular season serious again. Okay. Shout out to Chris Paul. Number, two, number three, John Morant. Memphis Grizzlies are rolling, beating whoever you put in front of them, and he lets you know about it every night. My kind of ball player, shout out to Jay Hope, put me on to him when he was in college, and he's lived up to it ever since. Okay. And number two, the process, Joel Embiid. Yeah, for sure. Ben Simmons ain't showed up yet, yeah. and, he, the, and Philadelphia still looks great, all because of him. Hopefully he can stay healthy. I hate you still have to say that about Embiid, but you do. You do. And as long as he stay healthy, he's putting up MVP numbers, and at number one this week, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Sure. He's unlocked all the attributes. He's a 99 across the board. Okay. What do you want him to do? He nuts. He's, he's figured it out. He winning nuts. the championship, but took the monkey off his back. And there's nothing you can do with him right now. And that is my MVP ladder for the week. Well, the week shit is going to stress me the hell out. I'm going to have to check <laughs> for out. The for the week. For the week. Boy, it changes week. weekly. Yeah, you know I'm saying. But Steph, should, Steph ain't never been number seven in nothing in his life. For it. this week. Stop he's top five. It. For this Stop week. He had, a, he had 40. He lost night. three or four. He's playing great. And he, he shot can't. under 40% twice. And on top of that, too, you got to realize, too, Jeff. Twice. You got to realize this, too, now. I knew he was going to argue this. He shot under 40% twice. No, yeah, no, no. He yeah. came with his facts. No, no, no. Yeah. He came I with his facts. Snap some facts on you. Let me tell you what, now. Uh -huh. Andrew Wing is, you know what I'm saying? He's coming back to earth. Swimming pool. No, no. Swimming pool. Nuts getting small. He's so, coming back to earth. No, sw swimming pool. He's, no, it, swim he's third in All-Star voting. Did you know that? Yeah, hell yeah. Let me tell you Don't worry. That's the most crocker shit. He can't play. No, you know what? Let's just get started with the second half. That's a good job, though. Okay, Jay. thank you. Know, you. Big Jeff for the Full Sport Press Podcast. And make sure you check out the Full Sport Press Podcast each and every Monday on iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play, Stitcher, Beyond Pod, Spotify, YouTube, and of course, the SoundCloud page. Just search Full Sport Press Podcast. And always remember, the camera's always on. The second half is underway. Second half, the 2021-2022 NBA Midseason Awards Show. Before we get started, I'm Jay ho It's your boy, Big Jeff. And I'm Cam. Can we reach the midway point of the NBA season? We know a couple of things. Which teams are good? Which teams are disappointments? Which players set them up for postseason award races? For sure. And if you missed show 389, stop right now and go listen to that episode as we handed out the 2021 NBA Preseason Awards on this episode. 
We are here to hand out the same mid-season awards. The first award of the night is the superstar most likely to be traded, not named Kyrie, Ben Simmons, or <laughs> Kevin Love. Who's your preseason pick, Jeff? Who's your mid-season pick now, and why? Preseason pick was Pascal Siakam. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, sure. Mid-season pick, it got to do it. John Wall. Somebody got to take on that badass contract. <laughs> somebody, somebody got to get John out of purgatory, man. He wants Johnny. to play ball. I miss seeing John Wall out there. John Wall out there. I miss gang signing John Wall the most. Sure. The NBA needs John Wall right sure. now. Sure. Kim, who is your midseason pick and why, buddy? I got Demontis Sabonis. Mm -hmm. With the, they have to move either him or Miles Turner. Most somebody got to go. Yeah, he's the healthy one right now. Yeah, he's got the most value. I don't – again, I said earlier, I don't think they're going to win anything this year. Uh, you trade him, you get as much as you can, look for the future. I got you. I, like it. I hear you. Um, my preseason pick was Miles Turner. My midseason pick will be Brad Beal. He's in the last year of a contract. I think that you will trade him to Cleveland, play alongside Darius Garland. You get rid of um, the injured um, – what's his kid's name? Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton. Package up, get rid of one of those wings, and you'll have a Brad Bill, Darius Garland. And I'll trade my first round pick for Brad Bill. Oh, just think sure. about it. I don't need pick you don't year. need to because because you you got that same team exactly. coming back. You got the same team coming back. Yeah, man. So I think that no defense, ain't no defense getting played. No, the the Bucks gonna score one hundred and thirty sure. a night. <laughs> yeah, 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 night they got sure. one. They got uh, Evan. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the backcourt. Oh no, backcourt back back so. <laughs> We ain't going nobody. No, ain't going. Ain't going the soul. Ain't going the soul. Let's move right on to the next awards. The most overrated player in the NBA, Jeff. Let's go through. My preseason pick was Kevin Love. We talked about that. I, I felt like there's something had to be wrong with Kevin Love if nobody traded for him by now. <laughs> My midseason pick. Here comes the controversy. Cue, cue the dramatic music. Julius Randle. Mm. Yeah, so, he look a little funny in the light. Hey, I don't know what the fuck that happened to my dog <laughs> Duran, but Duran is wilding yeah. right now. Playoffs happened last year, that didn't go well for him against my Hawks, and then this season the Knicks are underachieving to say the least. Man. Say the least. He's playing the most minutes. Shout out to Thibodeau, but man, it's rough out but here. He had you. four points the other night. That's nuts, man. What you got, Cam? Uh oh. I got Anthony Davis. <laughs> man, been saying this shit. Oh, yeah, no. man. I've been and I've been saying it too. I believe yeah. I'm on on yeah. this show right yeah. here saying that he was not a franchise player because you can't be a franchise player. You never let a franchise anywhere. Hey, man. If you needed somebody else to help get you there every single time, yeah. you're not that guy. Yeah, not that guy, pal. And I just think that Anthony Davis is showing his true colors. Uh, and honestly, the Lakers aren't that much worse without him. No, nah, so, nah, which much better, and not yeah, much better. Better with them, yeah. Like they are something with that AD shit. I think he grew too fast, and his body is now catching up with that. And I, don't I think, think he still that. wants to be the six one guy. That's why he shoots so many jumpers. He stay on the ground, man. That too. Yeah. He don't know how to land. Yeah, he definitely don't know how to land for sure. <laughs> All right, um, my preseason pick was Kyle Kuzma. Who's having a solid year? Yeah, I can't even is. be mad at Kyle yeah, Kuzma. My midseason pick is Aaron Gordon, uh, exceptional athlete, score yeah. versatile for. Simply has not lived up to his potential. Arizona Wildcat. Um, average. He had, he had he's, he's, he's number he had four pick. Yeah. He's a number four pick, he man. He's averaging 12 points, five rebounds for a top five pick. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> he should be a double-double threat every night. Denver has to have him to step up for them to, to contend. You don't have MPJ. You don't have Jamal Murray. Aaron Gordon, they traded for you to be an 18, 19 point a night guy, mm -hmm. and he is not doing that. And he just – He's only 26 years old. That's why they gave him that extension. Yeah. No, you got to hear me. Aaron Gordon's only 26. He seemed like yeah. been in the league. Been in the league. Like Aaron Gordon been in the league seven years. Come on, man. When I saw his age the other night when they were playing, when, when they had their, double, their overtime guy, I said, wait, he's how old? Here's the crazy thing about Aaron Gordon. We might not have seen the best of Aaron Gordon. He can figure this out. Yeah. He can write oh, this yeah, shit. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. For sure. Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. Let's, yeah, let's move on to the next award. Is the most underrated player in the NBA, Jeff. Go through your picks. Preseason pick was Lonzo Ball. It's a great pick. My midseason pick. Hear me out on this. Yeah, for sure. Now, I, I agree with that. Alonzo Ball, I, I, listen, he up this out. He hurt right now, but he, he hurt, but he, he up y'all a lot. Okay. Hear me out. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. He saved the world. Here we go. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert, under right. Rudy Gobert. He shouldn't hear this. He's found his offensive game. I wouldn't say that. No, no, no. Look at his, look at his numbers. Yeah. I'm not saying he's back down post every night. Okay, that's what but I was there, there, you, you got to defend him now. 
That's all. You got to defend Rudy Gobert now, and he's putting up 20 a game, and it's a respectable 20 a game right now. Rudy Gobert, underrated. Okay. Cam, what you got? Listen, man. <laughs> I got Nikola Jokic because, as Jeff <laughs> just said, he's <laughs> averaging the same number as <laughs> last year, and mm-hmm. somehow Jeff got him fifth in his MVP ladder. Well, How? we do it. It's we do it. It's we do it. You just went to me. But listen, week. listen. You just said he playing with a bum Aaron Gordon. He yep. missing Michael Porter. He missing Jamal Murray. He's got them in the fifth or sixth seed. Yeah. He is playing outstanding, outstanding. basketball, yeah. Yeah. and people aren't talking about it. People talking about him. Not, not enough. enough. Not enough. They're, They're not talking about, about him enough. enough. That's true. He yeah. does not true. because he's not flashy. He's not going to dunk on people. He doesn't give you all of that. He gives you everything efficiency. Else. Yeah, yeah no, and, he, and he affects every single part. Just nasty. Underrated defender as well too. Yeah. As much as they say he don't, he doesn't move his feet. But listen, man, nasty. once you hit him, it, he not moving. Yeah, for sure, he not moving. Yeah, sure. I, I think that Jokic really does deserve more respect, especially coming off an of MVP. Yeah. Like, how how can you not showcase? He's the most disrespected MVP. Oh, ever. We, we, yeah, probably yeah. 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 Derrick Rose. Well, that's because he was hurt. That's yeah, true. Yeah, Derrick Rose would sure. be a. Hall of Famer. We were talking about if if he didn't have those hurt those four or five hurt years. Yeah, yeah it's a whole different we, career. We putting the bow on a Hall of Fame career right now. For sure. I can dig. I can dig. My preseason pick was Nikhil Alexander Walker. Just thought it was gonna be a lot of shots for my dog. He ain't been a lot of shots for my dog. And my midseason pick is Jared Allen from the Cavs. So I think the Cavs have been one of the more impressive mm-hmm. young squads in the NBA this season. Man in the middle. Can be attributed to a lot of that success. Mm-hmm. He will. Now we'll talk about that a little bit later. But he's averaging career high in points per games, rebounds, field goal percentage, and he's proved the worth. I think he is the center stone, the cornerstone, the man, franchise player in Cleveland. Just been an unstoppable force defensively, and he's an underrated offensive player. And that's what people don't really talk about. And he's switching. He's switching. he's switching ones, twos, threes, whatever. <laughs> now listen. Not on ones. No, now listen. I'm trying to tell you. I seen Jared Allen sit down on a one. It it blew my because listen, Eric Garland is not defending no point guard. <laughs> so when they switching, they like, oh, we got Jared Allen. No, you don't. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. Right. You ain't got Jared Allen. Nah, for sure, man. Shout out to Jared Allen, man. Don't get enough respect. For sure. Let's move on to the first time All Star, Jeff. Let's hear it. preseason pick, Lamelo Ball. Guess what, Jay? It ain't gonna happen. She- they gonna give it to Miles Bridges. Ooh, ooh. Miles Bridges averaging more points. He's just because he was just because he was hurt. Better, it's better, better number, better efficiency. It's, it was just <laughs> Miles Bridges. Or it'd be both. They, they top five. I gonna get two. They ain't, they ain't gonna get two. The, the Celtics were eight. The Celtics were eight seed last year and got two. But they won't get two. The Celtics were an eight seed last year and got two. Jay Z might pay. For both of them to go. But Miles Bridges is, is the guy. Now, Miles Bridges had a great year. For sure. Great, 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 great season. But Lamelo Ball's also. Awesome. Okay. J- Cam, what you got? I got John Morant. He. That's solid. Yeah, I mean. He deserved. Yeah, and, and if he don't, then uh, we got to re- re- negotiate some, yeah. some rules he for this all-star start. game. Yeah, no, he <laughs> should start. It should be John and Steph yeah, out yeah, the West. That should be start. the two guards out the West. Yeah. If it's anybody else, what? Say something. You got to, wait, no, nope, no, I ain't trying to hit that, man. Them, no. number one team in the I'm West. not they're trying to hit that, man. They're the number one team in That's the West. That's and Ja start in the backcourt. Thank you. All I'm saying is man, they're the I'm number one team in the West. I'm not hit that. Steph it's Ja. ja. They're, a, they're a four seed. That's Steph cool. Ja. He missed 14 games. Okay, ja. listen. Ja. Listen to what you just said. You said... CP and book, right? So they no, don't. I didn't say CP and book. So, I said book and and, and, and C, we and just talked about how CP is CP playing is not. He's book's a all star game, but so, the starting backcourt should be Stephen Curry and Devin Booker. No, it should not, man. Yeah, you're crazy. crazy. Yeah, you're, you're crazy. crazy. That's yeah. cool. That's your man's though. You buy it. So John's my guy man. too, but yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I like book. Nah, yeah. book's your man. That's nah, your man. Book's my guy, yeah. but I'm saying, yeah. but they're the number one seed. How do you? If, if it was how like, do you turn away if there was a number one seed? If there was an all J Hove team, if there was all J Hove, they would start too. They would start too. I shit. Hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie, I know that Hove. If I have nasty, yeah, for sure. My preseason pick was De'Aaron Fox. My preseason pick is free. He, put, he ain't got no help. What do you want him to do? But well, you was fly that flag every twenty six last year. You was fly that flag every twenty six last year. Yeah, I was, was waiting on this one. He averaged yeah, twenty six. He was yeah, flying yeah, the he flag. She yeah. averaged twenty one now. Yeah, that ain't good. That team's trash. Oh, boy, that's a bad, that's a terrible, bad team. club. Anyway, yeah. my pick is Fred Van Vliet. Van Vliet. Is getting enough attention, man. 
playing great, stepped up the challenge of being Cal Lowry in a big way, mm -hmm. averaging a career high in points, assists, rebounds, and most importantly, he's more efficient than he's ever been in his entire year. And the kicker in this, you know what I respect, he's doubled his number of attempts since then, and he's actually playing defense right now at a high level, though, man. So shout out to Freddie Van Vliet. I don't think he will make it. But in turn, he deserves to be a first-time All-Star. I think he might be the 12th man on that team for sure. Mm, I'm gonna be real. He getting a bad spot. Yeah, I think I think they're in the. I think they're six seed yeah, in the East. I say he's in a bad spot because out the East with those guards, you got he's he's at least seven. I, I think I, yeah, I think I, Kyrie's not gonna be in there. Jay Harden gonna be there. Harden will be there. The Rosen and Zach. 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 Yeah. They're gonna put Zach in the front court. Nah. On no, a vote, they, on a vote, they'll put they'll put the Rosen in the front court. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah. Either. But in the in the voting, he's in the backcourt, and then Darius Garland and Lamelo Ball. One Darius of, Garland's not making one it. of be them. Jared one of them will be. Well, I'm saying one of those guards will be out. And you don't forget Trey Young. Trey Young start. Trey Young gonna start. Trey Young gonna start. It, Fred, Fred, man, it's look, it's look, our man look out. If you go Fred, Fred or you go, man, yeah, look a little funny. Fred. Fred. Yeah. Let's move right along to the coach on the hot seat, wow. Jeff. <laughs> talk to me. My preseason pick was Quinn Snyder in Utah. Yep. My midseason pick is unfortunately Frank Vogel. Frankie V's. Frankie V's is fresh off a championship, looking like Tyrone Lou. Yeah. <laughs> After you win that championship. How you win a championship get fired, dog? Yeah, it's Tyrone Lou. It's tough, man. Yeah, it's tough, man. Shout out to Frank Vogel. From the Eagles. That happened to him, too. Yeah. Cam, yeah. what you got? I got Frank Vogel as well, really? man. Really? Yes. Yeah. Frank better pray. Not, not because packing. of performance. It's yeah. just, the it's just it's, that, 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 that light's too bright in LA for that. that Frank. No, it's, it's not Frank. I don't think Frank is going to be fired off his own merit. I think mm. Frank is going to be fired due to a Poorly put together roster. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, nobody can win with that team. Just my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I said that from the beginning, but it's just hard to put that team together. You got to have some youth in there. There's not a lot of youth on that team. Excuse me. Uh, my preseason pick was James Borrego from the Hornets. My midseason pick is Steven Silas, who's dealt a bad, absolutely the nastiest hand in NBA history when he's hired prior to that 2020. 2021 season with James Harden boy, fiasco. Harden in the fat suit. And from then on, <laughs> he was at the helm of a tanking team the entire time. Just how do you go from the top of an entire conference to the bottom for the last two years and won't even let Johnny Wild play? Front office has no idea how to handle this rebuild. And unfortunately, Steven Silas is suffering from it. I like it. Yeah, for sure. Let's move on to Defensive Player of the Year. Give me your preseason pick and your midseason pick, Jeff. Preseason was Ben Simmons. I thought he was going to come back and play and be determined. Yeah, he didn't play yeah, the game. He didn't play the game. Yeah. So I'm going to go with your man, Jay, Draymond Green. There's only one way to go with this one, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no question. What you got, Cam? I got Matisse Thibault. Yeah. I like it. Filling yeah. in for that Ben Simmons void, taking on the other team's best wing, best every player to score every, every single night. And, and Philly looks good. Like, yeah. Philly is much better than I think any of us thought they would be without being Simmons. Yeah. Uh, and I think him being able to slow down opposing wings is a big part of that. Got you. My preseason pick was Draymond Green. My midseason pick is Draymond Green, the number one team as far as defense in the entire NBA. It's all because of Draymond Green. Entering January 14th, they had the highest defensive rating since the 2016 Spurs, man. Whatever you ask this guy to do, he will do that. Ultimate ace in the hole. I've been saying for years, Draymond Green is the best defensive player we've seen since Dennis Rodman, and it is indeed true, and it shows because the games he hadn't played, the five and seven in those games. So, yeah, man, it's just like watching poetry in motion. The best defensive player, and he's great to play with on 2K. He's just 6'7", 6'6". 6'6". Yeah, it's nasty playing him. Six, I play six. him at the three. No, you really wild. <laughs> yeah, I play him at the three. No perimeter shooting. Yeah, no, it's nasty for sure. I'm telling you, man, just, he's a great player. Yeah. Move on to the rookie of the year. Let me hear your picks, Jeff. Preseason was Jalen Green. Mm -hmm. Midseason, I'm going with uh, Evan Mobley, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It looked great. Nah, he's good. Man. He's exceeding expectations yeah, to nah, me. He's, he's really like, good. Yeah, he, and every night. Yeah. He gives you something every night. Oh, for sure. I like it, man. I like yeah. what he do. I want to go with Cade, though. Yeah. But I couldn't. Motor Cade. I want to go with Cade. It's Cam's boy. Who you got, Cam? Nah, I, too, went with Evan Mobley, man. Yeah. Evan Mobley is affecting games, and more importantly, he is uh, changing the winning culture over there. They, we hadn't seen Cleveland play like this in a while. I, I think that that roster they put together, man, they young roster. The young roster, they yeah. hungry. They still a wing away. Wing away. Wing away, man. Yeah. Listen. Is it get, a flat or is it a drum? Definitely a flat. Definitely, definitely flat. flat. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, he that sure. flat. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Sleeping on get, drums. Get, drums get, yeah, yeah, get Colin Sexton out of there. Yeah. 
Sorry, <laughs> no hate. No disrespect. He got to go, though. Get, I really would have liked to see them uh, get Cam Reddish instead of the Knicks. That, yeah. I think that would have been great for them. But yeah. if they can get a wing, uh, a 3 and D wing, somebody yeah. who can kind of create a little bit when uh, Darius is off the floor, yeah. especially with uh, Rubio being out. You know, Rondo is Rondo, but you kind of want to save him as much as possible, right? Sure, Rondo so, doing that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I, 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 but I think with Evan Mobley, like I said, he's really come in and affected a lot with that team. Rebounds well, defends well, averaging about 15 points a game. Yep. You really can't ask for much more out of a young big. Did not, for sure. Uh, my preseason pick was Scotty Barnes. My midseason pick is Motorcade, K. Cunningham. 20 points, man, in the last few weeks, going on with seven assists. He's figuring it out, man. Been pesky on defense, bringing down right around four rebounds. Shooting percentages up, turnovers are down. Said he was doing a lot of jump passing. Said he had to fix that, and he fixed that, man. Off to a slow start. I'm saying sky's the limit for that kid, yes. man. Yes. Great, great pick for the uh, Detroit Pistons. That's my dog. That's your guy. Let's move right along to the most improved player, Jeff. Talk to me. My preseason pick was Christian Woods from Houston. Mm-hmm. Solid player. It's still fun to watch on league pass, though. They are. But mm-hmm. it was season going rough for him. Mm-hmm. Next season pick, Darius Garland. DG. Hometown. Mm-hmm. I, I try to stay away from set talk about Darius Garland on the show just yeah. because of that. But man, he looked bad. Cleveland is rolling. Yeah. They are way ahead of schedule. Oh, yeah. Way ahead of schedule. And it doesn't look flukish either. No. That's the thing about it. It doesn't look like they're just playing above their heads and no. like that. No, their team is here. They, they built well. Team. It, yeah. The team is well put together and they're young. And they're, like, like Cam said, they're hungry. And Darius Garland's at the helm. And he got the ball in his hands. He's not sharing that back. I know sex is hurt. Yeah. I know we kind of. Spoken there more than once. It's like we want sex to out of there. That, that yeah. doesn't sound good. But sex land. They tried sex. They land. tried sex land. They sex did. Land. Sex land didn't, yeah. didn't work. For us. It never really. <laughs> yeah, it was Luther Curl. Yeah, it was Luther Curl. Yeah. <laughs> Cam, what you got? I got Dejounte Murray. Mm-hmm. I'm at that. Averaging nineteen points, nine yeah. assists, eight rebounds. Mm-hmm. Killing on my fantasy team. Yeah, man. Anytime you can go out there and put up almost a triple double every night, it's kind of hard to stop you. Mm-hmm. But he's also stopping other people. Right. Elite defender. Puppies. Man. Strap him up. Yeah, that means getting to y'all both sides. And that's yeah. kind of hard. I, yeah. I don't know. He's keeping the Spurs relevant. Yeah. I, I believe he makes it a tough night every time you go down there to San Antonio. Yeah. Uh, really couldn't even tell you what else they, they got going on outside of him. He kind of makes that whole engine go right there. Yeah, for sure. So, just doesn't get a lot of love because it doesn't get any attention. No one wants to watch Spurs games right now. At all. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just don't, we don't hear about him, don't see At about all. him. 25 years old. Yeah. Uh, fourth year in the league. I just think that, yeah, he's coming into his own. Yeah. Uh, I like it. Most yeah. improved. For sure. Most definitely. My preseason pick was Keldon Johnson. Thought he was going to have a layover after playing in the USA basketball shit. Did not work. He's just looking regular out there. My midseason pick, Miles Bridges, 1974, career high in points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals, and free throws attempts. Come on, man. Six seven has the size and athleticism to be a wing, much more of a do it all forward for the Hornets. Can thrive as a ball handler, pick and roll screens, just hit enough threes to space the floor. He is the guy in Charlotte. Give me Miles Bridges as my most improved player for sure. And moving right along to the sixth man of the year, Jeff. Preseason pick was Dennis Schroeder. Mm-hmm. Midseason pick is Tyler Hero. Yeah, found his game. He did, for the most part. And yeah. not as many ex- expectations on him this year. They got the team around him where he could just do him. Yeah. And that's what he's doing. And looks yeah. good off the bench. Tyler sure. Hero. What you got, Ken? I got Tyler Hero. Uh, yeah. I think that's a lot. Yeah, yeah man. I think, yeah, I think anytime you come with 20 plus off the bench, uh, he is the number one option on the team offensively. Yeah. Even sure. coming off the bench. Jimmy's not a scorer. Kyle Lowry's not a scorer. Bam's not a scorer. It is, I mean, Tyler Hero carries the offensive load. Uh, and I think that's saying a lot coming from a six man kind of, you know, interesting. Sure. Yeah, I got Tyler Hero as well. My preseason pick was Kobe White. Um, Tyler Hero just came into the season in better shape and has allowed him to figure out a way to score, get into his spot. I knew he was going to have a good year because this summer he came out and said, hey, you guys talk about Luca, talk about Trey Young. I'm in that realm. And he is putting up numbers to say just that for sure. Man. People always who better when they have a kid, too. Yeah, and that's true. You know yeah. got to get bag. that Mac. Yeah, yeah. got I, yeah, I, I, I got to secure the bag. Gotta now. Secure the bag. Yeah, yeah, that's why I mean. sleep on that. Yeah, now nah, for sure. The next thing he has to work on, tightening his handle. Handle's kind of loose. If that happens, he won't be coming off the bench for much longer. For sure. Let's move on to Coach of the Year, Jeff. Who you got? Preseason pick was Nate McMillan. Mm-hmm. Midseason pick is J.B. Bickerstaff. J.B. 
Look at that, man. Good job, Again, man. two two years ahead of schedule. Yeah. Got Cleveland looking like a playoff team mm-hmm. and not a fluke playoff team. Mm-hmm. Young squad. I love seeing the young squad get it all together and buy into a coach and philosophy, and that's what they're doing in Cleveland. I love it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Coach of the year, Cam. Billy Donovan. Billy D. Hey, you know what IT said, man? I, I just, they said I was dead, man. I, I just they gave wish, up man. on me, dog. Yeah, and, and I don't understand, <laughs> like, what the yeah. heck? You couldn't do that in OKC? Well, you know what? It's, yeah. Yeah. He did. No, shit. no, He did do it in OKC. He led y'all to a damn finals. He didn't. What? He didn't, he was, Listen, yeah, man. it was finals. What? No, he did Scott not. Brooks. That was Scott Brooks. Scott Brooks with y'all? Yeah. He oh, led us to, to, to like, three straight now, first round exits. He did come to OKC and, and he stunk. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he was. was Scott. Yeah, yeah. Scott, yeah. Scott was carrying Scotty. us. Yeah, yeah, that's the only reason Scott's still coaching in the league yeah, now. True. He's yeah. assistant right now off that final. He tried to run it back with Russ in Washington. Yeah, yeah. And, and guess where he is <laughs> now? In Portland on Chauncey's staff, man. Just about to get fired again. Yeah, for sure. Man, listen, he might be the point guard killer. It might be his fault. It might be his Man, listen, and, and, and don't he got one of the third highest assist games in the league yeah, history? Nah, nah it's Scott Scales. Ah, yeah, 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 appreciate that. Yeah, 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 Scott, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, my coach of the preseason pick was Steve Kerr. My midseason pick is Taylor Jenkins. He's got the Grizzlies to a third place in the West. John Morant went down early. They kept it going. 11 and 2. They were playing so well. They said, we don't, the fans said, we don't even really need Ja. And now y'all talking about Ja's MVP. You know, so I let don't you know how good they No, I'm saying no, I'm the, the fans, world. the fans, the fans. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Grizzlies are way ahead of schedule. Way ahead of schedule. You got Desmond Bain. You got Jaron Jackson Jr. actually playing basketball and not walking into the uh, tunnel. With his pants too short, oh, he's just goodness. playing at a high level. The entire guy. team, I hate the way dude dressed. I hate the way he play. <laughs> yeah, he play. He played his game nasty. He, yeah. he got one of the nastiest games. I really, I really, man, I need him to go somewhere so Jock can flourish, bro. Like yeah, he gets six of them, don't he? Yeah, and that's he all he his do way. is getting his way. Hey, why you want to handle the ball, man? He think, man move bro. out the you know, set you know, this screen and roll, Chief. <laughs> Roll, yeah, Chief. Yeah, he got a roll. Desmond Bain could have been most improved. No, oh, for sure. Or, or something. He yeah, had to get just, something. Yeah, we got to, yeah, yeah. Put some respect on yeah, Desmond Bain. Yeah, yeah nah, for sure. But Taylor Jenkins deserves a lot of recognition, what he did with that Memphis team. They're definitely contenders and a hard out for any night, yes. for sure. The granddaddy of them all. The next award is the MVP. Jeff, give me your preseason, midseason pick. Preseason pick was Joel Embiid. Yep. Postseason pick. I'm mean, sorry, midseason pick. Joel Embiid. Most definitely. The process. This process, I still ended. trust the process. Yeah, for sure, you better. I still trust the process. The only person still there. He's the process. He said he was the process. He said he was the process. Yeah, he said he was. The, he's showing he's the process. It was him. It was Nerlens Noel. It was Dario Sarge. Jaleel Okafor. Jaleel Okafor. Ben Simmons. No, nah, it was the one before that. What's your kid? Uh, <laughs> Michael, MCW. Mike Carter Williams. Was, he was yeah, there he before. Started the pro- he, started he started the process. He started the process. That was the process. He was the, he was the first pick. He was, yeah, he was the first pick of the process. Yeah, they got his. He he the seventh year. Man, on the bench somewhere in Orlando. Yep. In Orlando? After rookie idea, yeah. they got him out it's of card. Yeah. Yep. Who's your MVP, Cam? Bike the bike, man. <laughs> Nicola <laughs> Jokic, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's your man. Yep. Man, listen. You don't pick him on. Yeah. No 2K team, you've never had Jokic at the five. That's true. Never. That's true. So what you doing all this praising for? Yeah, he still be hooping. I mean, I just don't like playing with no two K shoes. I think Russ trash in real life, but he be balling on two K. You know, Russ you know is, how the game works. Nasty on two K. Yeah, I go get, go get some of that Russ boy, work, for boy. Sure. For he sure. Now he is good on the game. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. But Jokic has that team, like I said, man, hovering around the fifth or sixth spot. Yep. I really think he can still get them into having home court advantage in the first round of playoffs, which yep. without your second and third best player is Something quite the feat. That's quite the feat. Quite the feat, man. That's something show. Yeah. yeah. That 49 point triple W just Ooh, had definitely fresh on my mind, man. too. See, that's why I'm trying to figure out how Jeff had him at fifth on the ladder because he just had a 49 point triple double in the win. Joel had a 50 ball in the win. His week to week. Joel had a 50 hey, ball with the win. 50 and 12 or 49 triple double. Phoenix ain't lost that week. Hey, 50. Giannis ain't lost that week. It's one point difference and he didn't have 10 dimes. How you, how you ain't got Devin Booker on none of this, dog? Devin Booker's not. Devin Booker's not. What you want us to say? He the damn MVP? Devin Booker's not an MVP. Devin, if you look at the last five games of Devin Booker, he had 30, he had 48, he had 35, he had 29, and he had 31. That's MVP. He did that every year. He did that before Chris Paul got there. That man said the last five games. It's week to week. 
league. Oh, yeah, his ladder. That's cool. Yeah, you're right. His ladder should have. I'm for real. Your ladder, your he ladder might be. Hey, he he's been not on. Yeah, hey, hey, nah, that hey, ladder might. Chris Paul had 21 to 10 the last week. No, man, listen. 21 to 10 over the last week. Man, Chris Paul. Like, that's cap, exactly. Yeah. You it's know that's cap too. You know that's cap. You know yeah, that's cap. I'm be real. Yeah, he might got a point. Yeah. Just I, I <laughs> wasn't gonna side with him, but David Booker's down their list this week. Did you hear my? You hear the week? Did you hear the week? Anyway, MVP for me, my preseason pick was Wardell Stephen Curry. Ruin the game. My midseason pick is Wardell, oh, Stephen Curry. Shit. We continue to ruin the game. My guy was having a career year before the season. Got into the damn three-point watch. And my dog got locked in on that, and he fell off a damn cliff. <laughs> Chasing that damn record. But Draymond will be back next week or so, in two weeks. Got Clay continuing to find his footing. You got to figure out what the hell to do with the damn uh, Andrew Wiggins kid. Jordan Poole don't know where the hell to go. Yeah. Andre Iguodala out there, and he's just running wild. <laughs> Gary Payton Jr. is a problem, though. <laughs> yeah, I like him. A little bit of glove is a problem. I like him. A little bit bouncy. Of hey, man, he's my he's backup ba- point guard on 2K right bouncy. Now. I'm not playing around with that. If those State Warriors <laughs> will only get better when everybody gets back. Wardell Stephen Curry is my midseason MVP. Jeff, you are up with the rapid fire teams. Let's get it. All right. Yeah. In the North, <clears throat> excuse me, in the Atlantic Division. Last year's winning with the 76ers. Jay Ho, who's your preseason pick? I had the 76ers. My midseason pick will be the 76ers. What did I predict? I predicted the damn Nets was going to have low management problems. And what's going on? There's a lot of low management problems. 76ers winning in the Atlantic for sure. All right, Camp. I got the Brooklyn Nets. I think Jay tripping. <laughs> <laughs> low managers all they want. As long as one of them boys out there, they got a chance. And I mean, at the end of the day, the 76ers are going to. Unless they make a Ben Simmons deal, they're, they're going to slow down. They're working hard. They're, they're working, working hard to get too hard. They're working hard to get their win. They're working real hard. And, and, man, like just 50 points out of Joe, like this thing. how many times he going to be able to do KD that? not coming back to the playoffs. That's cool. You're going to bubble wrap. You're just trying to you just, you just, you just, you're trying to make the playoffs. Yeah. That's all they worried about. Yeah. You think KD out to the playoffs? I think he's out to the playoffs. Woo! It yeah, changes, so. changes a lot. <laughs> it changes a lot if he's out to the playoffs. Yeah, sure. um, I don't think he's out to the playoffs. I think he rushes back. Uh, he's yeah. gonna try. He wants to rush, but I think the yeah. team yeah, you're gonna hold that players. off. Yeah. He'll come back a week before. You know what I'm saying? Just to get some. Okay. Yeah. Right, so I had so the 76ers the at the 76ers in the uh, preseason pick, and because of KD's injury, I had the 76ers as well. Sure. In the, as the postseason, uh, midseason. All right, Central Division. Last year's winner was the Bucks. Cam, who's your uh, midseason pick? They say Giannis. Yep, I got the Bucks. Yep. All right. Jay Hope. <laughs> my preseason pick was the Bucks. My midseason pick will be the Bucks. Bulls aren't healthy. We just want to stay healthy enough to make the playoffs. That's all. Bucks are getting healthy now. They're gonna run it up. Sure. <laughs> Unanimous Bucks. Yep. Southeast Division winner last year was the Hawks. My Hawks. Uh, my preseason pick was the Heat, and my midseason pick still the Heat. Mm. Jay Hope, who you got? Uh, my mm, my preseason pick was the Hawks. My midseason pick is the Heat. Kyle Lowry. The Heat are figuring it out, dog. Yeah, yeah. They listen, Kyle Lowry finding his pace. Yeah. They're going to get rid of Duncan Robinson to get one more score on that team. Heroes, like we talked about, playing at a high level. Yeah. Tough out. Give me the Heat. well put together roster. Yep. Cam. T- Miami. Listen, yeah. like you guys said, very self-explanatory. That team right there, that's a team built to win in the playoffs, win now, win every night. Yeah, for they, sure. They don't have a real weakness. This guy get healthy. Yeah, that's it. My, yeah. Let's go to the West. Yep. Northwest Division. Last year's winner was the Jazz. My preseason pick was Denver. My midseason pick, because of injuries, and PJ's hurt. Aaron Gordon, as you said, Jay, yeah. found, his, found his game. Wow, okay. Going back to the Jazz. Cam, who's your midseason pick? Unfortunately, it's the Jazz, man. Yeah. Listen, like you said, injuries are kind of derailing those other teams. Portland is – just been slaughtered by injuries. <laughs> Minnesota still hasn't figured out what to do with all the talent that they have on their roster. They talented. Very talented. They're the most talented team in that division. Yeah. They are the most talented team in that they division. They ain't got no bigs, man. Carl they got Towns. Bigs. He's the four. A, they got man, him playing the five. He's a four. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, but yeah, I, I don't I don't know who knocks Utah off. They've got a, a six game lead right now on Denver in that division, and I don't see Denver making up too much ground. Okay, for sure. Um, my preseason pick is the Nuggets. My midseason pick is the Jazz. Tough when everybody's healthy. Tough when everybody is healthy, dog. I'm telling you, they're getting healthy at the right time. Yeah. Great second half for the Jazz. They're gonna do a lot of great work for sure. All right. Pacific Division. Last year's winner was the Suns. Cam, who's your midseason pick? The Suns. 
What? Huh? I yeah. thought. Uh, yeah. Okay. I thought I heard Jay say something about the Warriors, but <laughs> I, I think with with Chris Paul controlling things the way he does every night, Devin Booker being the best two guard in the league. Uh, Hello. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. I, I think that, that that makes it hard for teams to beat them. If DeAndre Aiden can figure out how to play basketball consistently, mm-hmm. the Suns can win the NBA championship this year. That That is their ceiling. Uh, and so, yeah, I think they run the table. Chris Paul definitely understands the, the situation trying to get home court advantage throughout the playoffs, mm-hmm. how significant that can be. Uh, so, yeah. And I think you got to go all in, man, because CP's 36. He signed a four year. You yeah, he's thirty six. I don't see him playing out that four year. <laughs> he he gonna play out that four year. Yeah, CP out like, there forty man. Somebody yeah. in trouble. Yeah, no, sure. He gonna be out there. Nah, he gonna get, get that 40. money. Yeah. Forty a year. He going to get that. Forty make forty is yeah, nuts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my preseason pick was the Golden State Warriors. My midseason pick is the Suns. The Warriors got to figure out ways to get Clay back acclimated. Figure out the rest of what's going on. The Suns man trying to figure it out. They got a young, healthy core, man, and those guys are ready to play. They know how to play with each other. They ain't add anybody but JaVale McGee, for real. Just scratching the surface, man. Give me the Suns. Yeah, I said uh, on the preseason show that the Suns will take the regular season very serious, mm-hmm. and that's exactly what they're doing. So my my midseason pick is the Suns as well. Moving along, Southwest Division. Last year's winner was the Mavericks. Jay hove Yo, My pre-season. preseason pick was the Mavs. My midseason pick is the Mavs. Kiss, and Christos Porzingis, man. Coming a little bit consistent as the weeks go on. Just got to get healthy, a little bit more effective. Uh, Brunson is playing at a high level. He wants $80 million. Yeah, so, he in turn, he's going to play at a high level. And Luca, if he figures it out and continues to play with him doing what he's doing, he might sneak in and win MVP if they get rolling for sure. Cam? Cam? I got the Memphis Grizzlies, man. What's up? Hmm. No, Josh playing incredible basketball right now. Also in that MVP conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, that team is really just scratching the surface of what they can be long term. But the fact that they're putting it together this early in the year, and that bodes well for how they finish. Uh, and again, I think that's another one of those teams that really would like home court advantage in the playoffs. The city of Memphis, you know, the kind of grit and grind. They 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 love to be in front of those fans. Yeah, Jaw was beefing with the fans for a minute, so you know it's that Memphis was a little though. tricky. Yeah, that it's was a little Memphis tricky. Though. But <laughs> now they're back on the side. Yeah. So man, I, I could definitely see him wanting to get home court, and get that place rocking, man. Might even go down to a game or something, you know? Definitely. My preseason pick was the New Orleans uh, Pelicans. Oh, wow. I didn't know Zion was taking a gap year. I didn't know that's what was happening. <laughs> but he's definitely that's taking insane. a gap year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, my midseason uh-huh. pick is going to be the Grizzlies. For everything Cam said, man, shout out to them, man. Semi-home team, I guess. Kind of home state. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. All right. And let's move it along. Eastern Conference Finals predictions. Cam, midseason, who you got? Eastern Conference Finals, man. I have the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. Go. I like it. Del? My preseason pick was Nets versus Bucks. My midseason pick is Bucks versus Heat. Mm. I like that. Mm. I like that. Preseason pick was Hawks versus Nets. Midseason pick, woo, that Heat pick is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fire. That Heat pick is good. It is safe money, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, vets, all vets. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. Heat bucks, heat mm-hmm. bucks is, is the pick. Yeah, heat bucks. I think I can't wait to take nope. come back. Next and bucks, start going next crazy. bucks. Man, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Next, next shit ain't gonna happen. Next, next, next shit ain't gonna happen. I'm telling you, it's bro. not mentally. They're not strong enough. Listen, Playoffs it, it, different, bro. It's not different. different. You know what? Y'all, y'all, y'all been with y'all James Harden. Be, everybody better hope it happens because if not, with James Harden, been with Kevin Durant. You can't listen. Been with Kevin James Harden's going to be there. Hey, and I know. That, if James Harden don't win this year, he's going to play with Joel and B next year. So he might be going to play with Joel and B this year. Yeah, so everybody better hope that they win because man, can, if they can convince Kyrie to get vaccinated, now no, take I take Wait, that lie back. That ain't now hear me out. James Harden wouldn't mind. He said he would mind relocating. Yeah, they get Ben bad. Simmons. Ben Simmons goes to the Nets. Come on, dog. They, but, but they Kyrie not playing. If they got home games, but Ben Simmons goes. Ben Simmons, ben Simmons goes is to playing the Nets. In Brooklyn if he fourteen goes points a game. Where are you gonna get some more scoring? The from? defense. Nicholas Claxton. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Yeah, I'm sure. It works. Yeah. It works for both. Harden and MB works. Don't do that. Yeah, it yeah. works. You know better than that. Yeah, yeah, you talking about? That's about, yeah. that's about okay. entertainment value. Okay. It yeah. don't work. That's all I'm okay. saying. Okay. What's the and we know Daryl Moore won't James Harden back. We know he won't James Harden. He, hey, he messed up like a bad man. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's his. That's his old thing, back. He won't work. Yeah, that's his. He won't work. That's what he know. Yeah. Anyway, Western Conference Finals, J-Ho. 
My preseason pick was the Warriors versus the Lakers. Oh. But listen. And nah, my midseason pick is Warriors versus Suns for sure. What a matchup. That's a matchup. Sure. Knockdown, drag out. Hell, hey, man. I got the same two teams coming out that Pacific Division. And I think realistically, man, no one else has a chance of beating them in the playoffs. Nah, not those two not teams. Not those two teams. Not in the West. Not in the West. Not, as good as Memphis is, as good as some of those other teams are. Not in seven games. Not in seven games. You got to play seven games. That's seven, what hurts Seven you. games against either one of those backcourts, man. Long is going, that, it's long You night. can't beat them four out of seven, man. Uh-huh. So, yeah, barring any injuries, those two teams, yeah, easy, so, easy call. I think this my preseason pick might have been the worst pick I made in FSP history. Who was you mean? I had Lakers Clippers as my preseason. Yeah, you did. It might be my does. worst pick ever. Yeah. And I, I own up to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suns, Jazz. No, the no, he's, no. Still, he's still making bad picks. <laughs> no. You can't follow a bad pick with a bad pick, Jeff. They're going to have to get – talk to me. Here's my thing. They gonna make a trade? No. They gonna get Brad Beal. No. They right now, give right Jordan now, Clarkson. right now, is one in three. One is Phoenix. Two is Utah. Three is Golden State. Right. Utah's always one too. No, no. <laughs> Hear me out. Every year. But how it but the seeding matters mm-hmm. in the current seeding, Phoenix will play Golden State before the NBA before the oh, conference finals. Right. So they will have what, to play each other before. No, nah, the yeah. current currently Utah's four. Okay, where well, it just switched. Yeah. It's it Phoenix, switched. Golden State, Memphis, yeah. Utah. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, though. If Golden State falls to the third, they have to play Phoenix first. They, they won't play them into the third. No, if Go, Golden yeah. State is – yeah, if Golden State falls. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Golden State yeah. Right now, they yeah. won it too, though. Yeah. yeah. So sure. it shakes out that way now. But yeah. at one point, they were third. And if they're third, they're going to play them before they get to the Western Conference Finals. So yeah. that's why I got Utah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Portland is still in the, the play-in right you now. Got one more. All right. And now, j Hope. Yes, sir. What's your NBA final look like? Right. My preseason pick was Warriors versus Nets. My midseason pick, Warriors versus Bucks. Camp. I got Suns Nets. <laughs> you smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> I got Suns Nets. Nets ain't bro. Nets ain't. All right. Listen, man. Right. Uh, y'all do realize the Nets was a shoe size away from going last Is year. Is it? Right? A shoe size, Chase. Is it? Shoe size. Come on, dog. A lot of these championships are worn off mental, bro. Shoe you size. Shoe size. 90, seven game seven. Ninety seven percent of though. NBA championships. We watched that game together, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's be clear, man. Ninety hey, seven. KD Reds a smaller shoe size. They go to the finals last year. And I'm here to tell you, they would have won it. If though. Yeah, if Come on, dog. Let's just if we, we, my you, preseason pick. <laughs> <laughs> preseason pick was Nets Lakers. The hits are rolling. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my post, my midseason pick is Suns Heat. Mm. No Suns. Come on, Suns. Nah, Suns, shit, Suns, man. Suns and he uh, and you know what he gonna do? Suns like, Bucks. I said Suns Bucks. I said Suns Heat. No. But I'm telling you, no, no, no. Suns Bucks. Suns Bucks. <laughs> Rematch. Run it back. Run it back one yeah. more time. And that is a long ass NBA. <laughs> Preview for the mid season. We handed out the awards, man. It was fun. Yeah. Had a great time. Shout out to you, Cam, popping back in, man. We appreciate you, my brother. Get what I can, man. Yeah, man, nah, most definitely. Um, you know, Jeff, we got teams playing. No disrespect, Cam. Yeah. We got teams playing in the NFL playoffs. I'm about to walk up the set. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm worried about my game for sure. Just as worried. We're yeah. Two worried fans. Two worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Good luck. Cause you know why? Lead off. Lead off. Till we Real about this. That's what I'm talking about. Tune <laughs> 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 yeah, this with questions throughout the weekend. Full sport press. Don't forget to comment. Give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page, on the iTunes page. Please rate and subscribe. But more importantly, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. Cam. It's just me, dog. It's just you, dog. For sure. It's just <laughs> it's you, just dog. Me, man. It's just, you got to work on that. You got to get you one. You got to get you one. Maybe when I get some consistency. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I keep getting these 10 days, man. Sign me. Sign me. I'm available. There we go. And listen, and if they don't sign me, can I, cameraman, can I get the camera locked in? Because I need people to understand, man, if they won't sign me, I need you too. I'm available. Talk to me. Okay. Get my line. I hear you. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Now, listen. Now, listen. Let me 
If you, you jump your ass off this porch. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. You know, hey. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Yeah. I need to guarantee you. No, I'm going to assign me. That's your assignment. Yeah. 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 Camera's always on, brother. You're damn right. <laughs> Cameraman, the revolution will be podcasted. We are out. Listening to the Full Sport Press Podcast. To catch up on previous episodes, please check out the YouTube page and wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. The revolution will be podcasted.